Hello everybody, how y'all doing? Thank you for watching my video. My name is Rafael and today I have another Division 2 video and this time I'm going to talk about the Foundry Bulwark uh, gear set that it's in the PTS. And no, it's not another build video. I think that making build videos on, P on, on PTS uh, gear, it's kind of stupid, so to say, because in a couple of weeks we're not gonna have it or it's gonna be nerfed or whatever so the builds are not gonna be viable very soon so uh, I'm not gonna proceed into making any type of those builds any type of these videos in my channel there are many other youtubers that are actually doing it on a daily basis I I'm not gonna join into the party but uh, what I want to talk about in this video is about the Foundry Bulwark build and what the developers should like take into consideration be before they actually nerf it to the ground because we don't know how hard the new raid is gonna be, right? So the developers might know that we're gonna need the Foundry Bulwark gear set in order to complete the second raid. So that's why they released an overpowered tank build as this one. But at the same time, the PvP aspect of the game really needs a nerf, so to say. The, the, the PvP aspect of this build, I should say, really needs a nerf because it's, it, it's just OP as hell at the moment. And I think that the developers should be very careful when they, ner when they nerf this build because what they actually did, they introduced another great PvE build that it's in danger of like being nerfed to the ground because of the PvP. And the community ever since Division 1 dropped has always like been split in half with PvP players complaining that things should get nerfed because are very OP when it comes to the PvP and on the other side you have PvE players blaming PvP players for having their builds nerfed to the ground and I think that a simple solution to this issue would be to like even if they decide to keep the foundry bulwark with the same stats as it is right now with the same percentages and everything as it is right now because we might need it for the raid or I don't know why but even if they decide to keep it the way that it is they should make like I don't know Siri just started working for some reason but yeah I think that they should like make another like small text <laughs> in the bottom of the of the of the gear set bonuses right and like say that when you enter the dark zone all all, all the all, all the buffs that you get from this build are like nerfed to 50 percent or, or something like that uh, i don't know about the pvp i'm not an expert on the pvp and i should not be giving any advices or any suggestions for pvp builds because i don't play pvp and i'm not gonna pretend that i know what a good pvp build would be or what a good pvp nerf would be for the foundry bulwark gear set but i think that they should make sure that the pve bonuses that you get from this build are separated from the pvp bonuses that you get so as soon as you enter conflict or dark zone the stats that you get the bonuses that you get from this build are different from what you're gonna end up getting when you enter like a raid or a normal mission or whatever so the first thing that i want to talk about is this that the, the, the developers so like make sure that they don't nerf they don't have they don't have the same nerf for the PvP and the PvE aspect of this build, so I'd say it might take more work for them or whatever, but I think that that should like be a change. That I think that this, this is a must change, right? Uh, if you release that build in open servers, in normal servers, call them however you like, and you have people running uh, the same type of build on PvE and PvP, half of the community, uh, either the PvP players or the PvE players will be very mad with the other half of the community because they're gonna blame others and not the developers and I think that the developers so like step their game up and say you know what in order to protect PvE right and because we know that the PvE needs a good tank build because at the moment they don't have one as good as this one and we we'll want to give them a good tank build because they're gonna need it for their raid you know what we're gonna nerf it but we're gonna have different type of nerfs we're gonna keep good stats when it comes to the pve activities but when you enter pvp activities your starts are gonna change a lot or, or, or whatever so that, that, that's the first thing that i want to talk about right and the second thing that i want to talk about is i see all these people like coming up with uh, possible nerfs and changes about the foundry bulwark build and stats and i think that that's good i think that that's great that the community is actually trying to give useful feedback 
to the developers so when the title update 10 drops for all servers for all players uh, the, the Foundry Bulwark will actually be a good build to have and I think that it's great to see that the developers and the community work together I think that uh, we should ask the developers and they should give us an answer whether we need this build as it is in order to complete the second raid because I'm pretty sure that the developers introduced all the new like gear sets having in mind the new raid, the, the, the second raid so in case the second raid is actually much harder than the first raid or every other content in the game they might know that you know what they're gonna need the foundry gear set in order to complete it so if that's the case then the developers should come out and say it I think that we should know if we should like talk about changes about the Foundry Bulwark gear set or if we should just like shut our mouth until we see what the number two raid will have will have us challenged with because if the second raid is actually very challenging and very hard to complete then the Foundry Bulwark gear set makes total sense. It makes total sense why because at the moment it doesn't make any sense having title update 9 or 8 it was that like nerfed our skills and our weapon damage and everything to the ground made our players like pretty bad compared to the NPCs right it, it makes no sense having like two title updates previous to title update 10 such a huge nerf to the division agents and now having another update that actually makes us unkillable so I think that uh, Foundry Bulwark is a pretty good gear set uh, there are many like ways that you could make it a pretty good and balanced set and i'm actually very happy to see that the developers are making division agents so to say again pretty like op so to say because at the moment it was like npcs compared to us it wasn't a balanced fight so to say you all know the reasons why but uh, now that they're making Division Agents more powerful, I'm, I'm very glad to see it and uh, I'm very happy with it. But I think that there should be an explanation on either w on if we're gonna need this build to be as powerful as it is or if we should start like talking about changes and giving more feedback to it, right? And as I said in uh, the previous part of the video and the, f the first thing that I talk about, they should make sure that no matter what changes they implement, they should definitely have two different nerfs for the PvP and the PvE aspect of this build. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more. Make sure to drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Foundry Bulwark uh, gear set and what changes you would like to see about it. Do you think that it's overpowered? Uh, do you think that it's fine? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.